A familiar championship matchup between Moravian and Palisades, a rematch of last season's title game. That one resulted in a 2-0 victory and a 10th consecutive district title for the Lions. This time, Palisades out to avenge that loss and bring home a title of their own. The defending champions looking for a repeat victory, dominating the possession game throughout the entire first half, but the sophomore Mason Bauer holding strong for the Pirates. That is until 30 seconds left in the half as Trevor Johnson sends a free kick toward the goal. The Moravian defenders try to get it clear, but but the ball makes its way to Ben Flinchbaugh. He takes his chance and scores to put the Pirates up 1-0 with an edge going into the second half. But that one nothing deficit only served as extra motivation for Moravian in the second. AJ Sasso sends a free kick and Jesswell Iwunkem is there with the header to tie it 1-1 with 28 minutes left to play. Five minutes later, the Lions getting another opportunity as Sasso dodges defenders and passes to Devin Burkov, who puts it into the net to secure a 2-1 lead. Another chance for Moravian as Sasso sets up for a free kick and he puts it through for a 3-1 lead, adding an exclamation point with the acrobatic celebration. And the Lions not stopping there, using a familiar combination as Sasso passes to Burkov. This time he sends it to George Husak, who sees an opening, and he puts it in for the final score in the ultimate 4-1 championship victory for Moravian. It's amazing that I was able to contribute and score a goal. Usually as a defender, I'm not able to you know shoot a whole lot, but I was able to take my one chance and score, which and it felt amazing. At this point, it's, it, when you lose, you go home, and my, my career is over. So it's amazing to keep on winning and to keep winning titles. Tonight's win for Moravian makes 11 straight district titles for the program, but this year's path to the championship was a bit more difficult than others. Between battling illness and injuries and facing old rivals, this year's championship run was hard fought through and through for the Lions. Yeah, we've had a lot of ups and downs this year. As so coming to this game, we knew we had to like we had to get the win, do what we had to do, and kind of just fix it up. Yeah. Usually districts isn't this hard, but you know it was a harder game today, and it was nice to win it. I say this every year. Right? It never gets old. It feels great. Um, really, it's it's a it's a night of celebration, and then it's back to work tomorrow to try and prepare for the second title that we have to defend. Um, that we know is going to be really difficult, probably harder than last year. Teams will be gunning for us. I know some of the opponents are very good, and, and we've looked at them and. Um, you know, you got to be in the tournament to win it, and maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we won't. Um, we're just super excited to be playing next Tuesday night and representing District 11. Uh, 11 in a row is awesome. Hope to make it 12 next year. On the scene at Emmaus High School, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network.